For the first time, the adage, talk is cheap, might actually be true. Tonight we meet Rail Lisus of Deba Telecom. He has started using VoIP to enable underprivileged people to communicate at a much cheaper rate than the more known providers of the service. We talk to Rail about taking this technology to the rest of the country and the continent. <laughs> Do well by doing good. This is the phrase that seems to have inspired much of the work pioneered by a man on a mission, Rail Masseuse. According to him, talk is cheap, or rather it should be. This is part of why he's bringing cheap voice access to the poor, starting in Orange Farm, south of Johannesburg. Gabba Telecom is a combination of Rail's ongoing work in technology and education that started with the Learning Channel Campus, an extension of the well-known program from television to the internet with William Smith. Rail is now the chief executive of Gabba. Trying to bring low-cost voice, so low-cost phone calls to poor and I suppose or lower cost areas, underserviced you could call it. Even though, so, so, so what we're trying to do is create a new system and because we're not really allowed to use the traditional technology to do it like cell phones, we're using a lot of new technology. So like uh, the internet protocol and voice over IP and Wi-Fi and wireless and we just try to blend all these together to create a, a new kind of telephone service. And well, I suppose the simplest thing is we're just going to allow people to make much cheaper phone calls. That's it. And we can just do that by using new technology. Dabba's roots can be traced back to when Rail was still focused on education. He started by putting servers, basically computers with videos and web pages, into schools. He then connected all the schools using wireless radio links so that everyone could share their information. Then we decided, hey, hold on a second, it would be really cool if they could all just find each other for free. So we just put in little telephones in the schools and then they could all phone each other, which became quite useful. But then they said, hold on a second, we want to phone a telecom line, or we want to phone an MTN or Vodacom line. And uh, well, the first problem we had was we hadn't worked out how to let them phone out. And the other thing is the minute you phone other networks, there's costs involved. But it was a great idea, so we started that experiment and we thought, hold on a second, let's go experiment in Orange Farm. That was almost two years ago. These days, Dabba connects around 2,000 users via the network in Orange Farm. And there are about 3,000 applications pending and counting. According to Rail, Orange Farm provides the perfect conditions to see whether Dabba can be rolled out on a much larger scale. So the idea is that when you're in Orange Farm, you can find everyone in Orange Farm for free. Oh, and now we're trying, you are just bring in Alex online, Soweto, and one or two of the Equilani townships. You'll be able to find them for free as well. But you can dial, you can dial 082, whatever your number is, 083, and it finds out. Telcom, you pay telecom rates. So what we've done is we, we can buy these minutes in bulk, and then we can sell them. So it's actually perfect. We're saving people in the township money, and we can make a profit. Could Dabba be exactly what the consumer needs to encourage other telecoms operators to lower their charges? In fact, we have some of the highest cell phone costs in the world. Like, in, like for, from Orange Farm or from uh, one of our neighborhoods, if you want to find China or America, it will cost you like 10 cents a minute. So it's much cheaper to find China than it is to find Telcom. And that's funny. Last year, Rail was awarded the Social Entrepreneur of the Year Award for the way Dabo uses modern technology to bridge the digital divide. He says the next step is for individuals in Orange Farm to own and operate a part of Dabba. We'll take 10 entrepreneurs, train them up, and they'll be given the equipment and know how to work the service and everything to go back to their areas and start a business. And then we'll go back in a few months and see if it works. Hopefully it works. And if it does work, it'll be quite a, a good thing. With the gradual deregulation of the telecom sector, Dabba might be the first in a long line of new industry operators. Already, the future seems a lot brighter. Oh, wow. Let's <laughs> go.